Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are back with this transit of Rahu in Mriga Shira Nakshatra. So, true Rahu already transited on 21st April 2020 to Mriga Shira Nakshatra. And if you consider mean nodes, then 20th May, this is going to enter, okay, Mrikshira Nakshatra. Uh, this is German time, 8.49 a.m. according to drikpanchang.com. Right, 20th May, this transit is happening. All right, so therefore, this transit is going to be very crucial because there are many flavors within this Nakshatra. And yet, till when will this transit be? Let me check. 2020, 2021, okay. So it will enter Rohini Nakshatra on 26 January next year. Okay. And uh, okay, true Rahu will enter on 12th February and it will enter Kritika uh, on 5th October next year and true Rahu will enter on 9th, uh, 19th September. <coughs> All right, so roughly you can... Uh, take uh, this date uh, from end of May to mid of February next year, okay? Depending on true or mean node, whichever you consider. So, therefore, this transit is very crucial because Mrigashira is an akshatra which exactly falls in the junction between Taurus and Gemini. So, the first two padas of Mrigashira lie inside Taurus and the third and the fourth pada lies inside Gemini and you know Rahu's transit is always very peculiar because he goes retrograde which means he goes from the from the fourth pada to third to second to first it's very weird because the first pada is about creation so but and the fourth pada is about detachment but it's very weird the how do you detach something which you have not created huh? interesting <laughs> yeah, but that's how Rahu's transits work. So, what Rahu does is, why Rahu goes to fourth pada first, or why is Rahu retrograde always? Because Rahu starts from where you left in your past lives. So, therefore, when Rahu enters fourth pada, because if Rahu would have entered first pada, then it would have meant that you are doing something new in this life first. And then it goes to second, third, fourth, and then you are uh, detaching yourself. But it's not like that. Rahu goes retrograde. So therefore, during this transit, as usual, as with any transit, like currently Rahu is in Ardra. So Rahu will go to fourth pada of Mrikshira first. And then he will bring out all the desires from your past lives regarding this Nakshatra Mrikshira. Okay. So now many of you will think, oh, what are those desires which he will bring? Well, that will depend where Mrikshira is, where is Mrikshira, fourth pada, where is third pada, where is second pada, first pada, depending on your bhav chart, okay? Disclaimer again, not Rashi chart, bhav chart, okay? And yeah, many of you have asked me, uh, what is bhav chart? So I have not made videos on bhav chart. It's a very detailed topic. Uh, but you should go to Nitin Kashyap Ji's channel, Astrolife Sutras. So you can type uh, Nitin Kashyap Astrolife Sutras. It's in Hindi. So if you understand Hindi, you should be able to understand. But in short, uh, let me give you an example. Suppose your ascendant starts at 10 degree of any any sign. Okay. So let's take the example. Uh, you are uh, you are Aries, Aries rising. Let's take it for beginners. Simple. <laughs> So for Aries, um, currently because Rahu is in Ardra, so it's in the third house, okay? So now you may think, okay, um, now Rahu will enter Mrixira. That means uh, it has to go through the, uh, to enter the Taurus part of Mrixira, it has to cross uh, 30 degrees right of Taurus, only then it will enter. Well, that will only happen if your ascendant is at zero degrees, okay? So anyways, bhav chart calculation is not the topic of this video. So please Google it and I will also make videos on this in the future, okay? So depending on your degree of the ascendant, it will be determined when 
uh, Rahu will enter the second pada or uh, the first pada. I mean, when means uh, the house, okay? Because Rahu will enter second, third, fourth pada for everybody in the same day. But for you, which house it will be, that will depend on your ascendance degree, okay? And there are many calculations, Bhav, Madhya and all this. So, now, what are those desires? So, first of all, you must check where is that transit happening, depending on your ascendant, okay? Uh, ascendant and ascendant degree, okay? Not moon sign, not moon degree and all this. Forget moon. Let's talk of ascendant. That's the first thing you need to check. And then, after that, you have to check, um, do you have any planet in Gemini or Taurus, especially in Mirikshira? If yes, what is the natural signification of that planet? What, which are the houses that planet is lording? So suppose you have uh, Venus in Mirikshira Nakshatra. And you know what Venus is, right? Venus represents uh, beauty, love, romance, creativity, marriage especially. Uh, that sense of being together with somebody. So, and now suppose uh, this by Bhav Chalit calculation, this is falling in your fourth house or third house. Let's take third house for example. So then you have to check which dashas you are running. Because ultimately, whatever happens in your life will be dependent on the dashas. So suppose you have this Venus in Mrikshira. So let's take an example. You have Venus in fourth pada of Mrikshira. Okay, and let's take the example of a standard chart where your ascendant is at zero degree of Aries. Let's make it simple. So, fourth pada is actually falling in your third house now. Okay, because for uh, Aries, third house is Gemini, and Gemini third and fourth pada of Mikshira falls in Gemini. So, um, suppose this is your situation. Let me give you an example. And suppose you are running uh, which Mahadasha? Suppose you are running Saturn Mahadasha. Okay. So which house is Saturn rules in the horoscope for Aries? Saturn rules the 10th house and he rules the 11th house. Now suppose Saturn is sitting in the uh, 7th house. Okay. And you, ha you are running uh, Saturn Mahadasha and Jupiter Antardasha. Jupiter lords the 9th and the 12th for Aries. And suppose Jupiter is sitting in the fifth house. So then it could happen that uh, because Saturn's Mahadasha is running, because Saturn is uh, the lord of the 11th and is sitting in the 7th along with the 10th. So if suppose you are around 26, 27 or around 30, then maybe it's time for you to get married depending on your uh, cultural situation. Let's take an example. And now suppose suddenly this transit is happening where Venus, your Venus is in third house. Now, which houses does Venus lords in your horoscope? For Aries, Venus lords the second and the seventh house. These two houses, very important houses of marriage. <clears throat> so now because the Dasha lords are indicating marriage or something like this. So now because Rahu is going to transit over Mrikshira, therefore suddenly new opportunities can come. Okay. Now, this is true for any nakshatra. So, suppose Rahu was not in Mrikshira, Rahu would enter Ardha, it would be in the same way. But now, let's talk of Mrikshira first, okay? The Taurus part of Mrikshira and the Gemini part of Mrikshira is significantly different. The Taurus part of Mrikshira is more related to eating and dining, all right? Meeting people and then uh, eating food, exchanging different types of drinks, all the drinks and food, these come under Mrikshira Nakshatra. Kritika Nakshatra is the cooking phase, okay. Rohini Nakshatra is like the phase where you make something beautiful when it comes to completion, all right. And Mrikshira is when you distribute it to others, including yourself. So, <clears throat> The Taurus part of Mrikshira has to do with luxuries in life, basically. Food is one of the luxuries. And anything which, uh, which is ready to, to be used after completion. Okay. So if in your life you are working on any project and then you are now ready to complete. So now maybe you can launch your website. Okay. I'll come to that website part later. 
and then let's go to the gemini part of mixira okay so gemini has two third and the fourth palas so gemini has to do with so imagine when you are meeting somebody you are going on talking first you eat but then you have to strike a conversation also right you cannot just uh, go on eating when you are uh, meeting somebody you have to talk also so you try to develop a deeper relationship with the person because mrikshira is known as that mrika that deer who is going on and searching 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 so the taurus part can be i am searching luxuries to please myself to please that person but then the gemini part is related to mercury so it means you are trying to strike a conversation you are trying to understand the person you are trying to understand where is this conversation heading because uh, mixira people most of the times they have this anxiety that will i be able to talk properly with this person can i conver can i go into a good conversation with this person because sometimes the deer is going 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 the deer gets lost <laughs> so therefore mixira uh, people uh, by by mixira people i mean if somebody has prominent planets like sun moon or ascendant or ascendant lord in mixira they might have this anxiety to unlimitedly carry on a conversation okay i have seen this not that that is bad or i am not saying that should not be the case or you should keep mom i am not saying but uh, the lesson which rahu wants to teach you in that gemini part of mixira is that when you are converse when you are having a conversation with somebody then the most important thing is to be yourself so suppose some sometimes i see uh, people are having conversations and then uh, suppose somebody talks about politics or what's going on in the usa now us elections are there somewhere in november this year so now suppose uh, there's a guy from germany he goes and sits in a table hmm? and then there are people who are talking about us elections somebody is talking of some other elections somebody is talking of elections in india and then this german guy this poor guy he is just sitting and he is just listening he doesn't know what to speak because he is he is not aware of us elections or indian elections let's assume like this. so then what should he do should he just pretend and artificially behave as if you know, oh, no 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 i also know i also should so i know this you know then what will others think of me no it's not like that if you are not having knowledge of something better keep your mouth quiet therefore in that case the best thing the best way to activate mixira is to keep your mouth quiet but suppose you are very knowledgeable regarding that topic then you can discuss so the trust of mixira is that the deer goes alone the deer is actually searching for somebody okay deer is actually searching for uh, another deer sometimes to mate or to stay together or as a friend or whatever it is so therefore <coughs> this gemini part of mixira has to deal with finding somebody or you know uh, like trying to get into a deeper connection with somebody because another thing about mixira is that the deer has this fragrance which uh, he or uh, he doesn't know himself okay it's there in his body he keeps searching around throughout the entire universe and then one day or maybe never he realizes that that is there inside his own body okay so therefore when rahu transits mrikshira it's very essential to try and see the things that you are looking for is it are you sure you will find them outside or maybe it's there inside you but you are not ready to look to yourself look within so therefore when rahu transits this gemini part of mixira you will see that there's a lot of stress and focus on communication like these uh, home office softwares have become more and more prominent if you see in the last two months and then uh, as i said mixira is also about meeting so now rahu is unconventional so generally how people used to meet they used to go and uh, sit in restaurants okay they used to take coffee or uh, go to family dinners but now because it's rahu rahu is the character for technology so people will be meeting but through different sources it will not be like the way it has been always all right so 
in the fourth and third para this technological advancement will come so these apps which deliver food uh, to your home they will become more and more popular because that's exactly what rahu in mixture does okay so when rahu comes these things will be amplified and apart from that also in different places where the lockdowns will be lifted uh, in many parts of the world uh there you will see that uh people have become more and more obsessed people will become more and more obsessed to meet new people to meet people from different cultures different backgrounds okay so these things will happen and then when it goes to the uh taurus part of mikshira uh, i mean the mikshira of the taurus part then you will see that people are now thinking primarily about their relationships or you could say they are now they will plan to they will feel that yes i have developed a connection with this person now they will want more intimacy with in, inside okay they they will want to stay more inside and then they will want to stay within their homes more this is what you will observe but uh, till the time it's in the gemini part uh, gemini the third and fourth part you will see people will have this outburst of going outside or you know, meeting people and then trying to develop a deeper connection okay and the taurus part is more of what happens inside the home and therefore you will see a great technological boom will happen during this time and it has already happened in rahu so uh, sorry in arda i mean so now many companies uh, of this world they are, they are thinking that yes they could do home office the employees could do so maybe they may give more home office later on okay these are the things which they are wondering so therefore the thing is uh, that this ardra has taught a lot of lessons okay rahu in ardra and then rahu will also teach a lot of lessons lessons in bikshira so therefore is very crucial and essential that uh, especially during this gemini part okay so especially in the beginning of like four months so maybe from uh, june july august september until september is very essential that we try to go inwards and check where is that fragrance okay because uh, krishna says in the gita that uh, krishna is there in everybody's heart ishwara sarva bhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishthati so this means that the any pleasure that you are searching in this world okay krishna says uh, what is that shloka yad yad vibhuti matsatvam shrimat urjita me bhavan tatta deva va gachchatvam mama tejamsha sambhavam i am not sure if the third line is correct almost <laughs> mama tejamsha sambhavam which means krishna says that mama teja amsha means whatever spark of splendor you see somebody is good looking somebody speaks sweetly somebody uh can cook nicely somebody can sing nicely somebody can dance somebody is very intelligent somebody is very popular somebody is very charismatic whatever you see whatever good you see in this world krishna says mama teja amsha it is a amsha of my tej which means it's a spark of my splendor so that splendor which that a uh, perfume which is there inside that deer which he is searching around the universe that is actually there inside you because whatever perfume it is perfume means the deer is searching for some external happiness okay so that is already there inside you that is there inside because krishna is there inside your heart now what does this mean this mean does this mean you go to the forest and you leave everything or forget all this family career throw it all this i just go and meditate no you don't have to do that what you need to do is you need to cultivate spiritual habits during your day by which you can uh try to harness or try to listen to that parmatma which is sitting inside your heart okay and by that that parmatma will give you guidance how to find that fragrance where do you need to go here or do you need to go there okay now it's great if you want to go to a astrologer for a consultation it's a great time but the thing is uh the astrologer is also human being he or she is not god so the astrologer cannot tell you everything even if you expect him or her to tell so the best thing is if you want to take some guidance you take there's no harm in that but you must do spiritual practices by which you can actually understand what is going on inside your heart okay 
otherwise without that if you just superficially try to connect to people then it may not work okay so therefore it's very crucial that you uh, read the bhagavad gita okay so here i'll just take out some random slow okay all right so this is 16th 16th chapter uh, of the bhagavad gita 23rd shloka <clears throat> यह शास्त्र विधि मुसृज वर्तते काम कारत न सिद्धि मवापनोति न सुखम न पराम गति डिस्कार्ड स्क्रिप्चरल इंजंक्शन एंड एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिस्स ओन विम्स एटेन्स नीदर परफेक्शन नॉर हैपीनेस नॉर दी सुप्रीम डेस्टिनेशन सो आई हैव मेड दिस वीडियो ऑन दिस श्लोक आ लॉन्ग बैक when i had said that uh, this people should uh, give up this eating meat because this has led to so many diseases i am not talking of this virus here which is now currently there has been mad cow disease earlier that now my parents are in guwahati assam they have, they have told me there again this swine flu has come okay from these pigs i don't know what not is coming then um, from uh, there is again this bird flu in some place you know then there's some some other i mean It's like crazy. The list goes on and on. Okay, so therefore, when Rahu enters Mrikshira, Rahu will also give this inquisitiveness to people that what are you eating? Because Mrikshira is about eating. Okay, so therefore, eat healthy and read the scriptures. Get direction in life. Otherwise, this Mrikshira deer keeps going and gets lost. Okay, so if you read the Bhagavad Gita every day. get up early in the morning if you chant a uh, mantra then what will happen is you will realize that you are getting a proper direction in life okay and then you can be very happy in this life this transit can be used very properly okay otherwise you may be confused and you may keep roaming all the time all right so that is it from my side and ultimately what happens will depend on your horoscope and your individual dashas okay All right thank you very much for your patience if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit for your personalized horoscope then you can go to the description below okay and uh, you can find my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him